now the war in Ukraine has forced millions to leave the country. And that includes U.S. citizens who made it out just before that invasion began. That's right, Jim Marie. For Chicago native Jerome Randall, the war in Ukraine hit very close to home. The Hell's Franciscan graduate was in his second stint playing professionally there. He even represented the country on their national team. And Randall was there as the Russian invasion was about to start before he made it back to the United States. Matt Zahn has his story. The last couple of weeks were uh, emotional roller coaster, I would say. Uh, emotional roller coaster because we obviously um, received the news from friends and family, uh, news report, Instagram. When other American players went home, Jerome traveled with the Ukrainian national team to play in Spain. That's when, as he put it, everything hit the fan. You just saw the, man, the emotions from all the Ukrainian players. It was, man, it was, I had chills running through my body, you know, after playing in that game on the 24th against Spain and the standing ovation and just all the respect and love that they show, you know, the Ukrainian culture, you know, and I was a part of that. Being from the south side of Chicago, you know, I feel like I was a part of history, you know, in a way. Obviously, it's bad history, but it was history. All of my belongings yeah. is in Ukraine, like everything. You know, so I left everything behind because uh, I was supposed to go back and, and um, get my things and, you know, head back to the United States. But um, I can't, you know, everything is there. So I'm like, OK, forget that, you know, forget those things. I don't need them. <laughs> um, my life is way more important than uh, shoes and clothes and, and things like that. So, yes, I actually left Madrid two days after the, the last game. You must know so many people going through so much right now, right? I do. I built a lot of relationships in that country. I do have teammates in Ukraine as of right now. And a lot of those guys are struggling right now, you know? So, you know, right now me and my teammates, the Americans, we're trying to figure out a way to send them money and make sure that they can, you know, eat and take care of their family. And we had a really good team. You know, we was working for a championship. So, no, we can't compete for a championship, but we can definitely still be champions and help each other, you know, and help them, you know, get to safe passage with their families. Randall wants to go back to Ukraine at some point to do what he can to help the people of a country that he says gave him a platform and opportunity to play the game he loves. Matt Zahn, CBS2 News. Randall currently in California looking forward to seeing his Ukrainian friends and teammates when the time is right, but for now, just very grateful to be back home and doing what he can to help those in need.